It's time for all the hits, highlights, and heroes. It's time for Friday Night Flips, powered by Pikes Peak State College. Welcome to the Friday Night Blitz, powered by Pikes Peak State College. I'm your host, Rob Namnum. Well, it wasn't the kind of loud noise that we were hoping for for the annual Cannon Game tonight, as the 47th edition of the Cannon Game between Pueblo East and Pueblo South was cut short due to an unfortunate incident. For more on what transpired tonight at Dutch Clark Stadium, we join Danny Mata. Good evening, Danny. Good evening, Rob. And yeah, it was definitely uh, not the kind of ending that we were expecting here. Uh, the 47th edition of the Cannon game and Pueblo South had come in having won three straight, but they were winless entering this game. And Pueblo East was three and one and East was hungry to take the Cannon back for the first time since 2018. Of course, there was some other stuff that happened in this game, too. Let's go to the highlights. It is our Friday night blitz pick of the week. The Cannon game between Pueblo East and Pueblo South. And everyone getting ready for the showdown and get ready to have a good time. And Pueblo East came out and was swinging early on in this one. And... All right, guys, sorry about that. All right, we are going right now. Here we go. There we go. It's Pueblo East and Pueblo South, and they are fighting for that cannon. Zayden Stevens to Isaiah Trujillo for the touchdown. It's 7-0 East. And then later, Sebastian Freeman jumping the route with the interception, and this dude is off to the races. This is going to be a pick six, and the Eagles go up by a score of 14 to nothing later Stevens to Zach Madrill and Madrill gonna work his way down the sideline leaping into the end zone for the touchdown it's 21 nothing east south doing everything they can to hang in there Mateo Esquivel with the interception he steps out of bounds early that would not lead to any points and then later Nathan Martinez making the catch on the sideline and he is shoved out of bounds the defender keeps driving him into the bench the refs throw a flag but a big fight breaks out so for just a moment it looked like the fight would settle down and then it just gets worse it keeps escalating after it's finally broken up the officials call the game east wins it 23 to nothing but because of the incident the cannon was not awarded to the eagles we spoke with pueblo district ad aaron bravo about the incident after the game we met uh, as a group and we determined that uh, it was not in the best interest of this crowd to make that exchange. Uh, we'll do it at a different time. Uh, we're going to meet on Monday and, and look at the whole situation and uh, hopefully we can eliminate something like this from happening again. Anytime you can shut out the Colts and win the cannon, it's a great day to be an Eagle, baby. It's three years of losing this game. You know, you come up short three years in a row and you got something burning inside you. You got a whole East Side Eagles big group over there. They got fire in their bellies and they came out to play hard. Yeah, Rob, obviously that was Coach Tony Valdez from Pueblo East, excited that his team won the game, albeit in a, in a shorter one. Uh, now, Pueblo East will get the cannon, but for obvious reasons, they didn't get it tonight, so they'll have it rewarded to them at a later date. As far as where the two teams go from here, it's still subject to a review. Reporting from Dutch Clark Stadium, Danny Mata, KRDO News Channel 13 Sports. All right, thank you for that, Danny. 